It's my last day in Vinales. I leave here in about 30 minutes. And uh, once again, I got this awesome breakfast here. Check it out. Well, it's time for me to leave Vinales now. Looks like we're gonna pack in a car and head back to Havana. We're 30 seconds into this ride and this is gonna be a long ride. We still have to pick up four more people. So basically the way it works is we just drive around town until they can't put any more people in the car. Mission control. 10 minutes in and it's not terrible so far. We'll see. Well, there's been a change of plans. My new friends here are going to fly a Larga. So I uh, figured I might as well go on over there since I was gonna go to that area of Cuba later in the week anyway. Um, so my two hour drive or three hour drive has now turned into a six to seven hour drive. Or maybe eight. Or maybe eight. <laughs> we don't know, we'll find out once we get there. But when I first got in here, I was thinking this was gonna turn into another Nepal bus ride. stopped on the side of the highway for some reason and our driver's getting out to go talk to the car on the other side. So we were randomly stopped as we were driving down the highway and now the driver's out talking to the police. Uh, not quite sure what's going on but they've been out there talking for about five minutes and they're checking the papers now. So there seems to be some sort of issue because a couple cars have already come and gone. I stopped at a police and checkpoint now they're going inside. and the driver had to go talk to the people inside for quite a while. No clue what that was about, but we're back on the road. So we just stopped um, in the middle of nowhere on the side of the highway and we're going to switch vehicles so we can go to Playa Larga um, instead of Havana now, so I guess we'll see where we wind up. So, we're off. Hola. So this is the vehicle that we fit 18 people into. I just got dropped off here in the city center. So this is apparently the city center here. Today has been uh, one of the most frustrating travel days I've had. Constantly, these people are trying to rip you off. It is seriously on the level of India. Okay, so things are starting to turn around. I got some street food for one kook or one dollar. At first they wanted, at first they said one kook. I said, okay, they made it. Then they wanted one and a half kook. So I said, few and walked away. Then they came after and said, okay, one kook. So I finally found a place to stay. Once again, they wanted way too much at first, but seems like some nice people and a pretty nice place, so. Whoa, 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 whoa. 